right, 25 minutes before 11 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in. As we do this next interview, I am going to try on the streaming video. Let me put us on here first. I okay. don't, don't want to be on here too long because I no. want to, because we have, I don't mean on the air, I mean on the streaming video, our, mm-hmm. our faces, because the, we've got some artwork we could put on here instead of instead of us. Oh, yes, um, for sure. This is really beautiful stuff. I was just looking at some of the artwork that our next guest has done, and I, I think it's all watercolors. I'm not sure. Um, he is Ron... Krajewski, he's a professional artist. He took up drawing while stationed with the Air Force in Saudi Arabia during the first Gulf War. Wow, he raises awareness for racehorse adoption. He was featured on the Today Show, ESPN, Good Morning America, Time Magazine, NPR. The Kentucky Derby is what, this Saturday, Rob? Yes. A week from Saturday. This Saturday. This Saturday. This Saturday. Uh, and I don't know that there's a connection between that and this interview. His book is called Painting with Metro. Metro is a horse. Mm-hmm. And it says here, uh, a crippled race, how a crippled racehorse rescued himself and me, not me, but Ron, uh, with a paintbrush. This when I went to the website, I really thought it was going to be an author's website, but it's a painter's website, mm-hmm. an artist's website. It's beautiful. Uh, Ron Krajewski, you're an amazing artist. Good morning, sir. How are you? Uh, good morning. Thanks for having us. And uh, I wish Metro was on the phone because he grew up in Ocala. Is, is that right? Really? Where are you? Where are you yeah. calling from? Uh, Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. Oh, okay, okay. So the horse... Metro probably, Metro probably has some horse buddies he wants to give a shout out to. <laughs> he's not here. So. <laughs> is, is Metro still alive? Yeah. Yeah, he's still alive. He's 13 years old and uh, doing good. He's, uh, I mean, his knees are pretty much shot. He can't carry a rider or anything. So that's kind of why we, he went into the art profession. <laughs> 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 yeah. were, you, were you a horse rider or a horse? I mean, what what was your involvement with horses? We actually knew nothing about horses. We, uh, Metro, towards the end of his career, he was a really good racehorse up in Belmont, Saratoga. Uh, he won, you know, $300,000 during his career, uh, spent his winters in Ocala, so he was kind of doing the horse snowbird thing. Is that, is that <laughs> and, <laughs> and then uh, when we, uh, towards the end of his career, when his knees were declining and he was on his last legs, he ended up out at uh, Penn National here, uh, just a little bit north of where I live. And we were in a partnership where one of those things were for $300, you can own 3% of a racehorse. Metro is one of the horses that we you know, own 3% of. So we owned, you know, from the knee down on one leg, I think. But uh, <laughs> we only saw him, he, we only got to see him race once. It was his last race. Uh, he came back limping, bobbing his head. Uh, uh. The vet wouldn't, the vet wouldn't clear, to, clear him to race anymore. So they retired him and they were looking for a home for him. And uh, they just, uh, no one was, you know, it's hard to find a home for a crippled racehorse. And we ended up taking him. We thought we'd be able to rehab him, get some light trail riding out of him. Okay. And you, it, took, it, took about a, it took about a year, and we got a little bit of trail riding out of, out of him. But, uh, you know, his knees just declined, and uh, we couldn't really do anything. So I figured since... Uh, you know, he can't do what horses do. Maybe he can do what I, I do, and that's paint. So I taught him to hold a paintbrush. And, and does wow. he, I mean, does he actually paint? Yeah, yeah. I, I choose the colors. Um, I'll load the brush for him, and I hand him the brush. He takes it to his teeth, and Ooh. he makes strokes on the canvas. Well, him. where are his paintings on your website? I don't see his paintings. Painted by uh, Metro. Actually, com. it looks like you, you oh, have my head portraits up. There's yeah, if you go to paintedbymetro.com, okay. you can see his painted his paintings there yeah but you kind of embellish them a little bit with <laughs> faces and oh, really? stuff like that I, I think it's pretty cool i love the yeah, abstract on, oh I yeah see. On, okay. Metro, on, on metro's abstract on metro's website they're all his paintings they're they're all his <laughs> okay I the colors for him let me put some of his on there so i mean <laughs> does, does he i mean oh why so do you think he knows what he's doing no way! He he painted these flowers. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, those those flowers. I helped him with the flowers. He did all the abstract strokes, and I painted the flowers. We collaborate since we're two artists. Yeah. We'll we will actually collaborate on painting too, and Metro lets me sign my name to it too. But <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, so uh, so we, the dog. You know, pa- my, Ron yeah. the dog. Ron the dog paints also. Oh, yeah, Ron is not I, the dog. I oh, I see. Ron paints. There's a picture of a dog that says Ron paints too. I thought you named a dog after yourself. Oh, <laughs> no, no. Okay, okay. No, I'm I, sorry. I do the pet portraits. Metro does the abstract. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me put one of these on there. I love abstract. 
I love the colors. They're very, very vibrant. <laughs> I say this yeah, is and, it, and that's the thing with him. I mean, he makes the brush strokes, but I've got an artist background, so I, I know color theory. I know what colors work. And so together, you know, they don't look like an animal painted them. They actually no, it's the beautiful. Goes into them. All right, so okay, so you so you pick the colors, and he just uh, it, do you, do you put the paint on the brush, or does he do that? No, I load the paint on the brush, and then I will hand the brush to him, and he takes it in his teeth and starts painting on the canvas with it. Oh wow! Okay, let me find the paint. Oh, here it is. Okay, uh, uh, if you're watching the streaming thing, it's going to pop up in a second. How did you keep him from dropping the brush? How did he know that this is what he was going to be doing? You know, I don't know why he likes it so much. He just he just enjoys it. I, I you know, horses need a job, especially athletes like metro who's come who's a retired racehorse mm -hmm. and i don't know if he just knew that you know this is what his job is but he i can take his easel outside in the pasture he's off eating spring grass he sees that easel get set up and he stops doing whatever he's doing <laughs> comes over and waits in front of the easel for me to hand him a brush oh. right. we have we have so much more oh, we want to ask you but i before we do this i, I want to ask you this does metro have an like is his uh, medium oil? Like it looks like your medium is always watercolor. My medium's watercolor. Metro works in non-toxic acrylics. Oh, acrylics. Okay, so it's still water-based, yeah. but, it's, but, it's, but it's got that yeah. um, that that oil look. Yeah. 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 Okay. It's right. Very similar to oils that dries a lot faster, and you know, Metro doesn't have any edge control. You know, he can't paint blue next to red. He just kind of smears them together. So <laughs> that's how I paint. We, <laughs> yeah, we built we build the paintings up in layers. You know, one day we may do reds and let it dry, and the next day we uh, do blues or something. And what happens is we get several layers of these colors built up, and he makes these nice broken brush strokes that just kind of vibrate through the layers. And and that's that's the good thing. Metro, you know, keeps me loose. You know, he makes the strokes that I can't make. I choose I choose colors that he can't make those choices. Mm -hmm. And and just just the brush strokes he makes are just really broken and vibrant and pretty and and humans can't make those kind of brush strokes because you know you always got in the back of your mind that things need to be perfect things need you know he just paint, makes strokes just for the joy of making strokes oh, so the one i just put on there with the flowers i mean all the yeah. all the green stuff behind those flowers that was done by metro yeah, that was done by Metro, and then I I added the sunflowers. And that looks like he was dabbing the brush more than stroking with the brush. Just yeah, like I can I can kind of I can control his stroke. You know, I hand him the brush, let him huh. take a short. Do, 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 do you th you know this is going to be a weird question I think but do you think you learned a little bit about your like in other words has your style I'm not saying you learned from the horse but. Do you think you looked at how it came out when he did his artwork, and then you said, "Oh my gosh, I could replicate that myself a little bit"? Did it affect your your style at all? It affects my style as far as it has uh, loosened me up. Um, you know, artists are always striving to make looser brush strokes because um, they don't want tight paintings; they want loose, bold strokes. And Metro has kind of you know, loosen me up in my okay. own mind, my own artwork. I mean, they've written books, you know, how to loosen up your, your paintings. You know, I, I know the secret. Let the horse make the strokes for okay. you. Some of these, some of these paintings yeah. won't let me uh, <laughs> save them. So, but you have one called, um, oh my gosh, what's the title of this one? Um, two on the 11. And that's very loose brushstrokes, but it says here, this was partially done by, by Metro. Yeah, it's, I think that's a racehorse painting. That's actually yeah. kind of a self-portrait. That's Metro back in his race career. <laughs> and, and you know, he did the loose brush strokes, and then I kind of put it all together so it looked like a racehorse. But oh, it's wow. kind of a 50-50 thing there. Okay, maybe I oh. can relate. I'm, I'm going to try and download it and put it on the, on the video here. Uh, when uh, Metro's paintings are sold, uh, where does the uh, money go? Does he have a foundation or something? Yeah, well, from the very first painting that we ever sold, I mean, we didn't know it was going to take off like it was. I was just looking for a way to spend with Metro, and then these paintings started looking good, and I was like, well, maybe we can put these up for sale and, you know, kind of offset his vet bills. 
And then it got really, you know, then he really <laughs> took off, and I was like, okay, we're making enough for his vet bills. We need to start helping other horses. So from the very first painting, we've been given 50% of the proceeds to New Vocations Racehorse Adoption Program. And they take racehorses who are retired off the track. If they have injuries, they rehab them. They retrain them for second careers, and they find homes for them. So, wow, wow. you know, and so far, Metro and his paintings have raised over eighty thousand dollars to find homes for retired racehorses. Oh, that's oh. amazing! All right, let's let's uh, take a break, and I want to. Uh, we've been focusing so much on the art. I want to talk to you about you and and my, your your veterans. So, thank you for your service. And yeah, oh, thank you. And uh, and there's so much more I want to learn. But I was fascinated by this. So, if you're looking at the the streaming video now, I do have the picture. I had to cheat a little bit to, to, to steal <laughs> to steal your painting, uh, but it, I mean it, the horse did some of that, huh? Did you who did the who did what first? Did the horse put something on the paper? Uh, what is it? A canvas? Yeah. Well, we can't work on canvas because he's a twelve hundred pound horse who doesn't know his own strength and oh, he'll it, break it. Point. Yeah, he puts a brush right through a canvas. So what is this wood? Yeah, it's it's kind of cradled hardboard, so it's masonite. Huh. That, that uh, we paint on, and he can't break those. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're too funny. He hears you talking. That's his next challenge. All right. So uh, all right, <laughs> w w when we come back, we, we will continue our conversation. Um, Ron Krajewski is our guest. His book is called Painting with Metro. Metro is a horse. Metro lived and was born here in Ocala, and I guess spent summer times here or something like that, right? Yes. To get yeah. out, to get yeah, out actually, of the he was he was born in New York, and then as a yearling, he was shipped to Ocala to uh, Clyde Rush. Clyde Rice's uh, Prairie Ridge branch to uh, learn to be a racehorse. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay. We'll take a little break and be right back. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accidents. Sunshine mixing with clouds and warm on this Monday with a shower or thunderstorm around during the afternoon and evening hours. High 85 along the coast, 91 inland. Partly cloudy skies later Monday night, low 68 inland, 74 along the coast. For Tuesday, a mix of sun and clouds with a couple of showers and a thunderstorm. They'll arrive during the afternoon hours over the interior. I-84, the coast, 90 inland. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. This Mother's Day, join us for Pokin for the Pee Wees. Saturday, May 7th, 11 to 2. Food, prizes, petting zoo, pictures with Disney princesses and superheroes, bounce houses, games, live music, and more. See you at Beautiful Moments Party Rental just south of the airport on 60th Avenue. Limited vendor space available. Call me, Dr. Erica Olstein, with A Better You Healthcare at 352-615-5566. 615-5566. We are saving thousands with Robert Palmer. Uh, so yeah, so rule number one is always shop around. Always shop around. If you're trying to get a mortgage, if you're trying to get the best credit card, if you're looking at student loans, cell phone bills, you name it, rule number one is always shop around. Always shop around. That's rule number one, just one more vital part of fighting back to stop being a financial zombie. Yes, you can take the mystery out of the complicated world of finances, take charge when it comes to your money. Listen in on The Source, 96.3 FM and 1370 AM, Saturdays at 12.05. Are you still fertilizing flowers and vegetables the old-fashioned way? Then switch to Dynamite Premium Plant Food. The secret to more flowers, bigger blooms, and more vegetables is consistent feeding. Dynamite Premium Plant Food is formulated for our Florida climate and has a unique coating that releases nutrition consistently. So there are no peaks and no valleys. Dynamite is just a terrific product. It even contains the micronutrients plants need in small quantities for maximum growth. With Dynamite, you get an explosion of color, flowers, and vegetables. Dynamite comes in a handy shake and feed plastic bottle. Just one application will last up to six months. For more flowers, bigger blooms, and more vegetables, try Dynamite Premium Plant Food today. Look for Dynamite at your Home Depot or Lowe's Garden Department. Visit on the web at dynamiteplantfood.com. 10 minutes before 11 o'clock. If you're looking at the video streaming, I now have a picture up there called, oh my gosh, I just had the title of this one. Um, I, I, it's called Mind That Bird, and it's by Ron and Metro. Do, do you know your paintings are like a, have a totally different personality when you work with, with Metro? It's kind of... It's, oh, yeah. It's eerie. It's yeah, very, I mean, I'm, I find myself working around what he does more than 
than having a set pattern. Sometimes I just have to react to the stroke he lays down How? and work around what he is doing. This is way more valuable than $20. Uh, you're probably looking at the print website. Oh, okay. Yeah, cause, okay. Yeah, because his paintings sell for the bigger ones sell for about four hundred. Wow. Oh, they're way more valuable than four hundred. Yeah, I would. Oh my think gosh. So. The, yeah, that's, that, these that's these are a low end, very low. Are they are they small? Is that why? Or are they how big are they? Uh, no, there the sunflower one was a pretty big one. It was like two feet by three feet. And that one sold for eleven hundred. We usually don't work that size. We usually work like 18 by 18 or 16 by 20, right. and we will sell those for about 400. And I think we're we undervalue them because they sell so fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think you sure. do. Oh you yeah, somebody else is going to make money. Somebody else is going to make money off of you and, and Metro. Yeah, right. yeah. I mean, there was there was there was a point like in 2013 when he was on the Today Show and and People Magazine. I mean, he was just everywhere. And there was a waiting list of, of like a hundred people waiting to get a painting, because we, uh, there was a there's a couple of years there that we were taking the gallery. They weren't even seeing the walls. They were sold before you know we even painted. Oh them. really? Oh, well, these pictures. I mean, you, we have so many art. I'm, I'm what am I trying to say here? So many horse, so many places around here that feature artwork of horses. Yes. And uh, these paintings would would fit in so perfectly. The one I'm one I have on the streaming thing right now. Oh, gosh, what is the title of this one? This mm -hmm. one is called Fast Start. So what do you work from? Oh, do, you, yeah. do you work from a photograph? Uh, or I mean, Metro oh. obviously doesn't care. Just yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, we, we'll work. I'll, you know, I'll have a couple photos set up. But basically, I'm just kind of, you know, I have in my mind what I would like a painting to look at. and then But then Metro has a mind of his own. So... You know, when he lays down a stroke, I gotta kind of work around what he's doing. So, you know, I try to fit in my touches where I can. So, so take us so, take us back to the Gulf War. You're in the Gulf yeah. War, and what do you have? A pencil and paper, and you're just bored, or are you drawing the, the scenery? What are you drawing? Well, I, I I was basically just working out of. I mean, at, during the Gulf War, there was, you know, we were there for four months of waiting for something to happen, and four months of just being so busy. You know, we had nothing else to do. So that four months that we were there before, you know, Desert Storm started, you know, you can only play so many cards. Uh, so, you know, I just picked up the Sports Illustrated and started drawing pictures out of the Sports Illustrated. I think of course. Uh, <laughs> Buster, Douglas, Buster Douglas just beat Mike Tyson. I think that was one of the first drawings I did. Oh, we thought you meant Sports Illustrated swimsuit. Oh, yeah, that's what I thought. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think over. That'd be, that'd, that'd, I wouldn't be able to hang on to that issue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, well, that seemed to be good therapy for you, though. Yeah, it was. And then when I got home, then I picked up the watercolors, and I kind of started out painting uh, NASCAR portraits, and then, kinda, and then eventually, you know, worked into the pet portraits. But I've always been attracted to speed and colors. You mm -hmm. know, so NASCAR attracts me because, you know, they're just kind of, you know, billboards traveling at 200 miles an hour right and then the, the horse racing really attracts me because you know you, you got these horses and the jockeys and these brightly colored shirts you know going around the track in a pack and and just something about that just uh, attracts me and it's it just fascinating to me so the one called I island uh i just put it up on there island paint that's what's on the screen right now Th that one ca can i guess how, how this one happened metro did his thing and then you made uh, a face out of what he did, right? The horse's face. Um, am yeah. I, am I guessing yeah, right? Sometimes, sometimes you know, I, ha I have a picture to work from. Sometimes uh, I'm just looking at what he strokes he is putting down and kind of working around what's going to happen, you know, from his strokes, what I can make out of the patterns on his. Because sometimes when he's just painting his own, when he's just putting strokes on, you know, I'll put, a, I'll put one of his paintings on the website that I haven't touched. You know, it's all Metro Strokes. And people say, I see a horse in there. I see this. I see yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, mm -hmm. right. I can understand that. Oh, this is so beautiful stuff. You, you, I'm telling you, you got there's got to be more money. Mm -hmm. But you raised $50,000 for the New Vocations Racehorse Adoption Program. Uh, uh, yeah. Just a 80000 Oh, 80000 Oh, my gosh. Yeah. 
so you need to do that for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, this yeah, I've got I've got my own art career. Metro's kind of you know taking care of himself and mm-hmm. other work. But one of the important things you're doing is bringing awareness to what happens to the racehorses when they don't make the grade or or uh, um, lose the races. I mean, it's because a, a lot of people like myself, I always thought they were, you know put out the pasture or use for trail rides and stuff but a uh, a lot of the owners they just kill them yeah i mean thousands of them every year end up on trucks to canada or mexico to slaughter you know and it's kind of like you know we're trying to get the message out here that you know they can all have a second career whether it's a dressage horse or a trail horse or a painting horse Mm -hmm. you know they can all do something i mean they're, they're great horses when once they get off the track uh, have you ever experienced uh, PTSD and then you went and did a painting and that seemed to help? Uh, no, I was I was kind of in the, the Air Force, you know, 350 miles from the front watching the war on CNN. So, I, you know, I, there was no uh, PTSD for me. Oh, okay. I'm not, you know what I think? Uh, here's, uh, I'm not an expert, nor am I an art critique, but it looks like it adds motion. Uh, I think this one is called Metro Wins Again, the one that I have on the screen right now. And and there's something about the colors just showing up, kind of. I mean, it just it adds motion to it or something, right? Sporadically, yeah. Yeah, it does. There's there's a lot of motion in his strokes. I mean, there's a lot of excitement in every breaststroke that he puts down. What if you were to put down um, like four paintbrushes with different colors? Does he have a favorite color, and would he pick up that paintbrush? Um, you know, it's kind of funny. I was walking through the aisle once, and, and they were doing some some walking through the aisle of the barn, and they were some guys. They were painting on the walls, you know, like restaining some stuff. And they left one of their paintbrushes on the table. And as well as I was walking Metro down, he saw that paintbrush, reached over, picked it up off the table, and started <laughs> <laughs> which which is kind of amazing, you know, because I've always handed him the paintbrush, but you know, I didn't know he could pick it up on his own. So I never tried giving him a choice yet. Oh wow! Mm-hmm. That is. But th- I, if he, if he sees a paintbrush, I'm sure he would pick it up. That just shows you how smart he is. How yeah, f- very right? smart. Wow. Okay. Uh, so let's give the listeners the websites because I'm having fun looking at them, and I put some of them on the on the streaming video. But there's a lot more, and there are two websites. One is the horse one. That's gonna, I mean, most of the pictures you saw on the streaming video this this morning are from the paintedbymetro.com website mm-hmm. paintedbymetro.com and you actually on the front the, the front the home page well actually all the pages you show a picture of of, of metro is looking at the camera <laughs> oh man <laughs> makes your heart break yeah. your heart you know, know he, he, he was does. crippled so is he still crippled yeah he's um you know horses their knees are flat he's got he, he's prone to bone fractures in his knees. He had a slight conformational defect, which is hmm. not a problem for a regular horse, but if you're a, an athlete, it makes you prone to fractures in your knees. So uh, during his racing career, he had two surgeries to remove pieces of bones from his knees that broke off hmm. and came back and won weight races every time since then. And then towards the end of his career, you know, he just couldn't have any more surgeries. So he was running with these chips in his knees. So now he's got really bad arthritis uh, uh-huh. where his knee should be flat on the front. And it looks like, you know, he's got two beanbag chairs for knees right Aww. now. Okay. And your, your website is, is ronkrajewski.com, R-O-N-K-R-A-J-E-W-S-K-I.com. And uh, then you'll see some of the other artwork that Ron has done. And, and it's more, I guess you would say, traditional. It's, but it's beautiful watercolors. Uh, and it's just so, it's so totally different from what we, we were looking at on the uh, Painted by Metro site. Uh, and the book is called Painted with Metro. So this is a book of, of paintings. Am I right? No, actually, it's, it's a memoir. Uh, oh, okay. Six years with Metro. And... Uh, how we, you know, his story of how he came off the track and his issues that he had to deal with, and and how I grew up and my issues that I had to deal with. Oh my goodness! I was an, I was an extreme introvert. You know, no. I'm happy sitting in my basement painting pet portraits and never leaving the house. Yeah. And yeah. when when Metro got famous, then all of a sudden I'm on the Today Show. I'm on Good Morning. You know, I'm everywhere. Huh. I have to 
because he can't do his own interviews. Right, right. So I had to deal with that. <laughs> well, this has been fun, and I feel like we, we shortchanged you because I, I we should have been asking those questions, but I, I think you the message got out there. So the the book is called Painting with Metro. Go to the two websites, and uh, and, and Ron, you just gave us a bright light, uh, bright spot in our in our morning today. So thank you for doing that. That was fun. Oh, thank you very much for having me. This was really enjoyable. Thank right, you. We'll take a little break and be right back. The first U.S. cruise to Cuba in decades. Carnival Cruises Adonia has docked in Havana, the result of thawing relations between the two nations. Passenger Carrie Rybicki. I know there's a lot of controversy. Some of my friends thought I was foolish, but something I wanted to always do is stop doing it. Some 700 people on board, many Cuban-born. It's getting better for builders. Construction spending grew in March to its highest level in more than eight years. Fox News. We report... You decide. Square Trade does not cover lost or stolen items. Savings based on two-year iPhone plan with one claim compared to a Shuri and total equipment coverages of August 10th, 20.